In my wild imagination, there is always a space reserved for Planet Nibiru. Actually, we named this channel My Mystery Decoder, but with the nickname of Nibi Runner. Of course, we still have not decided to either run towards it or run away from it when it comes to our neighborhood. But like the girl you find in online dating, she is perfect on paper, but you can't touch her nor feel her. Her mystery is part of her charm. Of course, most people who thought they got lucky through online dating have quite the horror stories to tell when the mystery mask is unveiled. Will that happen to you, my neat, beautiful, ruthless friend Nibiru? However, you may find Nibiru's video pictures and news on YouTube. You can see the path and learn that is already in our solar system. And maybe you will wonder, why can't you see Nibiru in the night sky? And why mainstream media can stay totally silent on this? The answer may be simple. Maybe their telescopes fail to spot Nibiru. Okay, don't start giving me a lecture on how powerful the new telescopes are. It may not matter. You are looking for a planet or a mini solar system, right? I mean, a planet at least the size of Earth, right? What if Nibiru is the size of a football? Remember the galaxy in Men in Black? It was hanging on a necklace, right? Who said aliens had to be three feet tall? If Nibiru is even the size of our moon, we would have missed it till it is super close, right? I am not a rocket scientist, but I heard that size doesn't matter in space. For example, black holes are singularities. A great example of points of infinitely small volume with infinite density. Everything that falls into a black hole is sucked towards the singularity. So, can Nibiru be super small that our telescopes could have missed it completely? Nibiru does not have to be small like a football for us to miss it. We would not have seen it if it is the size of our moon, but still far away. Or it can be super dim and far away. Although we can spot small objects farther away, we probably would not link a small rock to the legendary Nibiru. Agreed? But there is another possibility. What if Nibiru is big and close, but it is in a, another dimension? I know how crazy it may sound, but didn't people say that other planets are in fourth or even fifth dimensions? Didn't people say that planetary travel is through a wormhole? Why can't the wormhole be in a part of the Nibiru orbit? A wormhole is a theoretical passage through space-time that could create shortcuts for long journeys across the universe. Isn't a 3600-year orbit a long enough journey? Since wormholes are predicted by the theory of general relativity, you know I'm not making this up, right? You may think I am crazy, but I really am serious. How much do you think we know about the universe? How much do you think we know about our sun? How much do you think we know about our earth? Not much, right? Don't be one of the people refusing to open their minds until it is too late. This is Ken Peters. Thank you for watching.